Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine. I have four cards here for you. Today we're going to do, um, this is for Earth Signs. This is your September 2020 glimpse, just a small glimpse into September. See what we have for you. All Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I have pre-shuffled the cards. The cards are ready. These are the ones that popped up. And also this video is not made for kids. If you're under the age of 18, please click off now. Again, this channel is my brand. Please do not attempt to copy it or any part of it or even my style for that matter. Okay, so I got something new here, y'all. <laughs> this is a, uh, I think this is for a picture frame, but I decided I was going to use it for my cards. I thought it was really cute. So I'm going to put it here and then I'm going to put my card here. Okay, this is in the reverse. See, how about that? What do y'all think? Y'all tell me if you like this or if you don't like it. I don't know. It might not work out. Okay, so we have the um, seven of cups in the reverse. All right, so this represents Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I am seeing that for you Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that you had a lot of choices to make uh, in the past or in the recent past, and you just couldn't decide which one to take. Because in the upright, that's what it means. It means lots of, this thing ain't going to work. Let me get it off of here. <laughs> Sorry. Um, that was just an idea. But anyway, it's for a picture. It's like for a picture frame. So, um, yeah, you had, in the upright, it means choices. And the choices that are, be, that are given to you from the universe, because you see the cups are on a cloud. So they're coming from the universe. But some of them are good and some of them aren't so good. You have the dragon, the the snake, and then you have one that's covered that you don't, you can't even see what that is. So you don't know if you're making a good choice or not by by choosing it. <coughs> Excuse me. So I am seeing choices here. Hold on, I need a drink. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had I got choked up. I had to get a drink. So I'm seeing that you had these choices. Um, in the recent past, and you had to make a decision, okay? This is for some of you. Remember that this is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate with you, come back for a different reading or a personal reading. I have all my information listed below where you can contact me. All right. So now, when the, when it's in the reverse, that means the choice has already been made. It looks like you've decided which direction you want to go or what you want to do. You could have been involved in anything because this card is the card of fantastic vision. So I am seeing that you had a vision of something better. It could have been with a relationship, a job, maybe school, friends, or whatever project you're working on. I'm seeing that you made a choice on it. Okay. Um, you choose the direction that you want to go, and I, I'm seeing that you have a lot of will and determination. So because of that, it's going to get you through. It's going to get you to the next step of where you want to be. Perhaps you've applied for a job you never thought you could get, and then um, they call you. Or you maybe you're going on a trip where you thought you'd never go, and then you all of a sudden get your ticket, and you're off on your way. Um, maybe you thought you'd never get proposed to, and someone proposed to you. Or maybe you, you're the man, and proposed to someone and never thought that they would say yes, but they said yes. You know, things like that. So I am seeing um, a lot of that for you coming in because you have a lot of determination. I see some of you are selecting a project um, that you're going to go all the way through. You're going to make a commitment and you're going to see it to the end. Okay. Um, I'm hearing don't give up on your ideas. If you have ideas, no matter how far-fetched they are, I'm seeing don't give up on, on your ideas, okay? Um, because whatever plan you have, it's starting to work. I see it starting to work. Um, yeah. So the choices you made so far are right for you, and they're gonna and and you're gonna see that you're gonna reap your rewards, is what I'm hearing. Okay. So for the next card, we have the Three of Cups again. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I'm feeling that you're gonna meet up with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or you're already with one, or one is going to be you know, involved in your life somehow or already is, or you're going to be celebrating with one because this is the card of celebration. Here we have three people. Okay. They're dancing around. The maidens are dancing around, holding their cups up, um, dancing. And you see there's fruit all around. Again, the feet are different positions. So that means they're pretty balanced in, in what they're celebrating about. They're pretty balanced in the decision they made, their choices they made. They're in deep thought as well because the background is blue. Blue always means deep thought. One of them is wearing red, so they're really, really passionate about 
the choices they're made because they're celebrating it. So I'm seeing you celebrating something, whatever decision you made and it brought you a reward, you're celebrating it with a small group. You might have a small party, an office party, maybe a party at home, not with a lot of people, just with a few, you know, because of what's going on. We can't really gather with a lot of people, but I do see small celebrate. I hear the word celebrate three times, celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Okay. Party time. I'm hearing party time. I'm hearing art, art, the word art, music, design, hospitality. So I'm, I'm seeing that it's a group like that. Um, uh, this card also, also indicates that you'll be with family and friends as you're celebrating, not just co-workers, but family and friends. You might be celebrating a graduation, a reunion, a job well done, or you got a new job, or uh, maybe you lost that weight you wanted to lose, or you got your plane ticket to where you wanted to go. Uh, it could be anything. Whatever um, you're celebrating, it's it's good. It's going to be a good thing. And you're going to do it with friends because your friends are going to be celebrating with you. They're going to be happy for you. All right. So let's move on to the next card. The next card is the devil in the reverse. So I am seeing, uh, and it also could be this, you're celebrating because you're no longer addicted to alcohol or maybe you were in a marriage that was chained up and you're finally free. You could be celebrating that because this is the card of addictions. And the upright, you see the devil has a man and woman chained to each other, but they're also chained to him. So he's in control of what they do, their actions. So you could be, in the upright, it means addictions to, it could be to a person, to drugs, you know, rock and roll, uh, food, alcohol, it could be anything, anything, don't matter what it is, could, it, this is the card of addictions. And some of you are that way, or it could also mean prison, you're in prison. You're not only just pri like real prison in jail, but also prison in your mind where you're feel imprisoned by a relationship or a job. Maybe you feel like you're in prison when you're at your current job that you hate or something like that. But now it's in the reverse. Okay. So since you made a decision here, you're celebrating because now you're able to release what no longer serves you, no longer is in the past that's keeping you chained. Again, it could be a relationship where you felt chained to. Maybe you're getting a divorce or le leaving that one behind, finding someone else that's better for you. Um, I'm also seeing um, job as, as well. Maybe you... Um, Maybe you quit a job that you've been wanting to quit for a long time, but you couldn't because you didn't have another one. So maybe now you found one. I see some of you found another job that's better, going to pay you more, and you're celebrating that with friends. I'm also seeing some of you moving. Maybe you were so miserable in a home that you couldn't be with, but now you you um, got a promotion at work, so you got the money to get that job, or you won some money. I'm seeing that. I'm also seeing that you're letting go of fear. Some of you have fears, uh, you know, inside your mind. You're letting those go. You're not letting the fear uh, control you anymore. Um, you're not letting fear uh, have power over you. That's what I'm hearing. You're, you're releasing the chains of bondage of whatever is holding you back from living your own life. You're releasing those bonds, okay? Yeah, so releasing this also makes you have the freedom to move around where you want to, uh, to move forward into your future. I'm hearing with no chains, no restrictions, nothing holding you back. This also could mean someone that is doing like a lot of self-improvement. Maybe you're on a diet, um, you're freeing yourself from, you know, bad food that you've been eating or vice versa, okay? Um I'm seeing that you're releasing yourself from a self-imposed prison. Maybe you imprisoned yourself because of things that you were thinking about in your mind. You know, you created your own self-imposed prison. Um, yeah, or a real prison. I'm seeing also people that are in prison coming out. And this is you because this is Taurus, this card represents Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you are releasing a whole lot of things. All right, so now with the... Five of Cups in the reverse. So in the upright, you see how the man or woman is hanging their head, crying over the spilt cups. These cups spilt. The goodness that was in them just ran out, and it's not there anymore for the person to enjoy. So he's he or she are hanging their head, crying, mourning, grieving. So I saw that for you before all this stuff was happening here. 
and um, but you fail to realize that you still got a whole life left. You still got a whole life left to live. That's what these cups represent. In the background, you still got two standing. They didn't all spill. So your life, you still got a lot to look forward to to your life. You just have to cross this bridge. This is the bridge of opportunity and into the land of enchantment. But now it's in the reverse. So that represents that you, again, you've, you've made that choice. You're going to get there because you made all these choices up here. You've decided what you want to do, so now you're going to get to that land of enchantment. When you get the five of cups in the reverse, it means a decision has been made. Because this is the card of emotional loss. So you, if you lost something, like your wife, your husband, a child, um, yeah, you are going to be a lot better. I do see hope and inspiration returning to you, Hope, like you're hopeful again. Um, I'm seeing that you're also going to make new friends if, at this new job. And this also represents Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I do feel like a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is coming into your life or is going to help you out some kind of way. Because this also represents uh, new friends and old friends are going to call you. You're going to meet new friends and then you're going to have old friends calling you as well in the month of September. And you're going to return to good memories. You're going to be thinking about good memories from the past and you're going to hope for new memories for the future with the new friends that you're going to meet. You're going to be feeling back to yourself again. Once all this other stuff passes, you're going to be feeling back to yourself again. And you've also learned from the past. I, I'm hearing that you've learned um, not to dwell, not to dwell. And, and you're thinking to yourself, okay, tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow everything's going to change. Because as each, each day passes, I hear that you're saying to yourself, not all is lost. I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm going to keep um, um, trying to obtain, you know, the highest that I can be. Okay, and that's what you are going to do. So cheer up. I'm hearing cheer up because old things that you've lost, here's the old things that you lost, are going to re be replaced with new things. Okay, so all new stuff is coming for you in September, which this is actually a really great reading because I see friendships, reunions, new jobs, new marriages. I see divorces from people that you don't want to be with anymore, releasing out of jail or out of mental jail. You've made decisions. So everything's going to work out for you in the month of September. I see a lot of good things come and you just got to do the work put in the work and you'll see that you will reap what you sow all right earth signs towards Virgo, capricorn this is your short september glimpse september 2020 short glimpse for you y'all don't forget to like share and subscribe please 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 thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up and share like and comment i will see you next time Bye bye